The other day we took a look at Jag's new XC sedan, and that's a fun car, but it's not going to be the volume king. This is. This is the all-new F-Pace. It's Jaguar's compact luxury crossover. We're going to dive in and see what this means for the brand and the future. <laughs> So the other day it was all about XE. Well, today it's about the F-Pace. Silly name, but a very important vehicle. This is the vehicle that is basically going to be the sales king for Jaguar as we know it. The car's already sold out, essentially, and it's pre-ordered in England. It's like six month waiting list just to get the car in England. Jaguar is predicting that this is going to be their volume seller, and they're, they're right. People like crossovers, people like luxury crossovers, and so far, this one feels like a pretty damn good one. There's a base model with a supercharged V6 that's making 340 horsepower. We're not in the base because we don't settle for base. This is the S. It makes 380 horsepower from a supercharged six. And the difference in the engine compared to the XE is immediately apparent. There's more noise, whereas the XE was surprisingly quiet. The steering feels right here. This is giving us the sensations that we wish the XE had given us, but here it is in a taller. If we could think of this as like an XE wagon, maybe that would be kind of cool, but it's not. It's the F-Pace, and we're gonna live with it because this is a crossover world. The handling is fantastic. Mid-quarter throttle response is excellent. I don't know if you're, if you're picking up that noise, but this thing does sound wonderful. It's more expensive than the XEs we tested. This one is $65,000, but it's got great seats. It's got all the features you'd want. It's got that big screen, which you're gonna see in all the other Jaguar vehicles. The brakes feel better than the other vehicles we were testing here in Colorado. But I can't get enough of that noise. You dip into the throttle, it actually sounds sporty, whereas the XE was missing that. And the ZF is doing a great job of downshifting ahead of corners for me. I'm not having to use the paddles, but if I did, they shift nice and crisply. This is a much more enjoyable experience than the XE, and that's surprising. I did like the rear-wheel drive XE, but this F-Pace and its all-wheel drive guys is just set up better. This is, a, this is a fantastic little machine here. Now, obviously you're gonna compare this to the Range Rover, most directly to the Range Rover Sport. If you're looking at buying a Land Rover, I always suggest that you get the big dog, but if you want the Range Rover Sport and you're never gonna take it off road, which is most of you, you should look at this instead. You're gonna save some money. It might be a little bit smaller inside, but it's gonna be just as rewarding. And on the outside, this might be better looking than the Range Rover Sport. This is a pretty damn good looking vehicle. Ian Callum and his crew really shaped one hell of a machine here. And the more time I spend on these Colorado roads, the more I'm falling in love with the vehicle. Uh, so we'll have to get more time with it when we get back to California. But for now, our first impressions of the F-Pace, there's a reason why Jag is gonna sell a lot of these. And everybody who buys one is buying a pretty damn sweet vehicle. There's a base model with the supercharged V6 engine. It's V6, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. Vehicles we were testing here in Colorado. That's my bag sliding around. Don't worry about it. 